Vivo V23. Nakita nyo ba yan? Gold? Pero watch this. Oh! Oh! Slowly, it's changing its colors. Ito po ay UV light. Ang sabi ni Vivo, kapag tinatama ng sunlight yung kanyang likod, nagbabago yung kanyang color. Just like that. And as you can see, parang naging bluish siya or greenish. Pero kapag wala ng ilaw, fill it with darkness. A few moments later. And ayan po, bumalik po sa dati. Nice. Bago magic po yan ni Vivo. Dahil ito pong latest nilang Vivo B23 5G ay magical in pretty much everything. Design, camera, graphics, processing power. Kung gusto mag-level up ngayon 2022, baka ito na yung phone mo. Kaya let's check it out. Ako na si Bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. By the way, there are two colors, Sunshine Gold and Stardust Black. There are two configurations, 8128 and 12256. This one is 12256, Sunshine Gold. And as you can see, the box is glittery because the phone is glittery. The glitter is glittery in the back of the head. Premium to premium, it's like the branding of Vivo. V23 5G. Of course, this is the phone. But there is that. Uy, box type yung kanyang itsuro. Box type. Siyempre yung papeles. Quick start guide. Important information and warranty card. Flash charge 44 watts. USB type C cable. Ganun talaga ng packaging nila, no? Ulti mo yung kanyang SIM ejector pin. Vina V. I am Venus. Baka ngayon tuluyan kita. May kasama pa siyang headphone dongle or dongle. Meron pa siya kasamang high quality earphones. May microphone po yan, and of course, headphone jack po yung gamit niya, hindi po siyang diretsyong US Type-C, kaya meron siyang dongle. And of course, the star of the show, Vivo V23, all new magical design. Box type, as you can see, ito na po yung uso ngayon, yung mga box type, no? Para sa akin, it resembles, yes, it definitely looks like the iPhone, no? Yung pinaka-latest. Wow! The notch, the box style design, although yung camera, syempre, iba-iba. Pero sa iPhone, wala siyang glittery effect sa likod na nag-change ibang color. No. Now, tulad na nakita nyo kanina, kapag tinatama siya ng ultraviolet light, nagbabago yung kanyang color sa likod. You could say it's a chemical change. Iling ka meron siya nilagay dito ng material, kapag ka inilawan mo ng ultraviolet light, nagre-react siya and it changes its color. Very similar to chemistry. So, paano yung bins? Kailangan mo pa ng ganito para lang magbago yung color. Don't worry kasi yung sunlight ay mismo merong UV light. So, kapag tinatama ito ng sunlight, magre-react siya doon sa chemistry na sinasabi ko. Thus, changing its color from light ice blue and pink-orange finish to a blue-green gradient look. And don't worry kapag dumala na may sunlight, babalik siya sa dati niyang color which is yung gold. Sunshine gold. Baka sabihin nyo, binaging blue na yung inyong phone forever. No. Babalik siya sa dati. Dako, pwede, pwede mo ito pagyabang sa mga friends mo, family, lalong lalo na sa inyong nililigawan. Look at my new phone. Ah, diba? Magic. Parang ikaw. Magic sarap. Ang sarap mo, Pia. At check mo ba ito, no? Kapag ka tinatamaan siya ng UV light, yung kanyang LED flash, nagbabago din. Nice. Ang cool talaga ng effect, oh. Parang nasusunog yung likod. But yes, the whole body of the phone does look very similar to the latest Apple smartphone devices. Totally flat yung back, yung sides flat din, pero yung corners niya is curved. Ultimo pati yung notch niya sa harap, ang lakas maka-iPhone. As per Vivo, the back is a fluorite AG glass back panel po yan. Ito pa yung ultra slim body, flat frame, and has stylish colors. The phone is very thin, 7.39 millimeters. Yang sides po niyan ay made out of metal or glass. Feeling ko glass to eh, dahil sa kanya mga antenna bands. And yes, sa kanya ligo dahil glass din pala, which makes the phone feel very premium, very high end kapag ginawakan mo siya. At sa ka, very smooth pala yung ligo niya, matte finish po siya. Ang advantage hindi po siya dumihin sa ligo. Yes, kahit ilang hawak mo yan, wala pong mga fingerprints. Yun lang no yung kanya camera module ay napakalaki. Meron siyang one, two, three cameras. Eto pa ay 64 MP main camera. 8MP super wide angle camera at saka 2MP super macro. No, super ah, hindi siya macro lang. At ito pa yung selfie camera ay umaabot ng 50 megapixels. Not one but two 50 megapixel selfie cameras. What? Yung isa kasi ay ultra wide angle lens. No? Meron pa siyang 105 degrees no na angle. Whoa. I love that pang TikTok. Now, feeling ko si Nadia Nivivo yung kanyang pagkailapad dito sa camera module. Baka mas marami pang tech dito nilagay sa part na to, hindi na natin makita. Of course, ito pa yung kanyang LED flash. Mahabang mahaba. Kasi hindi po ganun kakapal yung kanyang camera module. Saktuhan lang yung umbok niya. The back is pretty minimalistic, no? Very clean yung look niya. Yung camera lang, pati yung kanyang logo. Sa sides naman, syempre, ito yung mga buttons. Power button, volume rockers. Sa taas ay microphone. Sa left side, wala. Sa ilalim, speaker. USB Type-C port. Isa pang microphone. At 
yung SIM tray which is a dual nano SIM card slot. Wala pa siyang micro SD card slot for expandability. Pero yun, meron naman siyang 256 gigs of internal storage. Sa harap naman, meron siyang 6.44 inch, 1080p, Full HD Plus yan, 90Hz refresh rate AMOLED display. Ito pa yung certified high resolution display. Pang flagship po yung quality ng display niya. It's not only very sharp, it is also very bright and vibrant. As usual, high quality ang displays ni Vivo sa kanya mga Vivo V series. And with that, kapag nag Facebook ka, maganda ang itsura ng mga videos and pictures. Lahat na makita mo dito ay mas may buhay, mas may punch. Kung color red siya, color green, color white, mas may palo yung colors niya. But of course, yung nakaka-ellipse talaga dito is yung kanyang screen to body ratio. Sobrang nipis na kanyang mga bezels. Sobrang sagad na kanyang display. Halos wala siyang bezels. No, it's like a floating display. Akala ko talaga parang display na nahihawak ko, hindi na cellphone. Although syempre, yung kanyang notch ayan dyan, hindi sila gumamit ng punch hole dito. Meron siyang advanced features like HDR10 Plus certification. I noticed sa Netflix, gumagana siya dito. Kapag narod ka ng mga HDR10 Plus videos dito sa Netflix, kitang kita mo talaga ang difference. Better lighting and better contrast sa mga videos. The display is also very smooth. 90Hz refresh rate. Although, oo nga, meron mga displays dyan na mas mabilis pa dito. Pero, as you can see, it's a combination already of an AMOLED display and a 90Hz refresh rate. So, for many, okay na yung 90Hz refresh rate. The more refresh rate you add, the more battery it consumes. So, okay na siya. I think they went for the best high refresh rate number kasi nga, hindi naman lahat ng mga games dyan ay gumagamit ng 120Hz refresh rate. Bagong bago na yung mga ultra refresh rate ngayon sa mga games. So, usually 90Hz refresh rate yung pinaka-optimal for most games. So, okay na siya for 2022. Hindi lang yun, smooth din yung scrolling sa homepage, sa Facebook, sa Google, everything looks smooth. At ayun na nga, since uso na yung mga settings na more than 60Hz refresh rate sa mga games, yes, may mga phones na na-ultra refresh rate sa ML, Call of Duty, and yes, matitake advantage na niya yung high refresh rate ng mga games na yun dahil meron siyang high refresh rate display. Pero syempre, itong pagka-smooth na to ay uh, sa display lang yan. Yung actual bilis niya, yung actual performance ay nagbe-base dito sa kanyang processor, which is MediaTek Dimensity 920 processor. May 5G na to. Napakabilis po niyan. Ito po yung kanyang tutu benchmark score. 488,000 points nung 2021. Ayan po yung score ng mga flagship phones. Almost 500,000 points. Pero ito mid-range lang umaabot na sa ganitong score, which is very impressive. What this means is kaya-kaya niya halos lahat ng apps dito sa Play Store. Maning Manila sa kanya yung mga social media apps, streaming apps, at syempre, pagbukas ng mga apps ay napakabilis. Very zippy. Walang-wala na yung feeling ng pagbagal dati ng pagbukas ng mga apps. Dahil finally, para naka-flagship phone ka na dito, it really feels that way. At oo, yung kanyang Funtouch OS 12 ay modern na modern na from the performance, the display, the icons, the interface. All I can say is it's near flagship level. But of course, wala pang half ng price ng isang flagship phone. Pero tanong, pang flagship ba talaga yung kanyang performance sa games? Sa Mobile Legends, ito ba yung settings niya? High refresh rate, ultra graphics. Although feeling ko, kung pwede lang, no? Sometime in a future update, lagyan sana ng ultra graphics para mas okay, mas utilize yung kanyang high refresh rate display. Overall, no? At ultra graphics, kayang-kaya niya, walang problema ang Mobile Legends dito sa phone na to. It runs super smooth, no hitches, no lags, no frame drops. Also, comfortable naman dito maglaro ng Mobile Legends even though box type yung kanyang design. And of course, syempre malaking tulong yung kanyang jelly case para maprotect niyo likod and adds more comfortability to your play. Sa Call of Duty naman, no? Not super optimized yet. High graphics, very high frame rates. Kapag ka gusto mo ng max frame rates, kailan mag low graphics. Ayun. But yes, the graphics in-game looks quite good even though high graphics lang at very high frame rates. Masarap para maglaro dito ng Call of Duty and also malas yung sounds niya. But of course, para sa akin, no? I still think na meron pa siyang room for optimization and improvement. Kasi nga, with that processor, with that Antutu benchmark score, Feeling ko talaga kaya niya mag-very high graphics at max frame rates. Walang halong biro. Now, diretso na tayo sa kanyang camera. I think this is the main reason on why you will buy this phone in the first place. Now, when it comes to camera, yung mga phones talaga ni Vivo yung isa sa mga pinaka-okay in the mid-range segment. Not only is the image quality good, but also yung features sobrang dami. Una-una, meron siya 64MP main sensor. And for the most part, maganda yung kanyang image quality. It looks sharp, it looks pleasing to the eye. And if you compare it to other mid-range phones, no, napakalayo niya. Nasa high-end na to ng mga camera smartphones. Pictures have very good saturation and contrast. Dynamic range is really good. Okay na okay yung balancing of lighting and the details still can be seen in the very dark shadows. Pero syempre, since vlogger ako, pinaka-favorite ko sa kanya is kanya selfie camera. Not only one, but two selfie cameras. Ito ay 50 megapixel HD customized sensor. It comes with the latest ISO Cell 3.0 technology na further nag increase ng light sensitivity and is able to capture light from more angles. At ayun na nga, since super high resolution yung kanyang selfie camera, ang ganda ng mga selfies. One of the best selfies you can get right now. Trust me, you don't need to buy a 50,000, 60,000 pesos flagship camera to get a good selfie like this. Ito po ay less than 30,000 pesos. Pero, as you can see, sobrang ganda, sobrang quality. 
And napansin ko ba sa settings niya, no? Ang dami dito yung style. Although, feeling ko ha, halos pang babae, halos lahat ang mga styles dito. So, may makita kang lipstick. <laughs> Kung mapansin nyo, guys, grabe yung makeup. Ay, ayun pala, ayun pala. Kasi nga, andito ako sa portrait mode. Ang dami pala pwede dito sa portrait mode. Guys, sa kanyang portrait mode is no ordinary portrait mode. Kadalas kasi background blur lang yung pinapakita ng portrait mode sa mga ibang smartphones. Eto, meron kang background blur, meron kang beautification, makeup, and even posture. Which is, kagaya mo yung post guys dun sa outline. Ayun, kagaya mo lang yun. Parang guide siya. Guide dyan ng mga professionals. Ayun. So, para naman daw maging professional yung itsura mo sa isang selfie. Ayun. May lang tulong yun ha. But of course, yung kanya lang makeup dito, nako. May mga eyeliners, may mga matinding lipstick, may color yung mata, may pangpahaba ng pilik mata. Although, syempre, pang babae lahat to, no? And, meron din siyang mga styles. Not your ordinary filter. Meron din siyang shadows. Pwede ka maging super creative with your selfies right here. Meron yung steam, yung tong violet na to. Okay na ako ito sa mga night pictures. Bagay na bagay sa mga BGC pictures. Meron dito yung parang dreamy, oh. Yung parang nasa heaven ka na. Wow, jam-packed ang portrait mode niya. This could be the most fully featured beauty portrait selfie camera I have ever used. Pero syempre, since vlogger tayo, ito talaga yung pinaka-favorite natin. Which is yung kanyang ultra-wide angle lens from ganitong itsura to ganitong itsura. Grabe. Naging mas wide. Mas marami ka na pwedeng ipasok sa picture. At, tinan mo yung half-body ko. Kitang-kita. At ito na pa ulit yung kanyang main camera. Although, mas sharp yung mukha ko kasi nga 8 megapixels na yung kanyang selfie camera na ultra-wide. Yung main camera niya, 50 megapixels. Which is... Very sharp. If you want the better looking selfie cameras, ito yun. Pero if you want vlogging, at mas marami pang isiksik sa picture, like yung may kasama ka, pwedeng pwede ka na mag-selfie with ultra-wide angle. Na para sa akin, no, sa TikTok, sobrang useful ng ultra-wide angle lens. Kasi nga, hindi mo na kalay lumalayo sa inyong camera. All you need to do is turn on the ultra-wide angle lens, ganito lang yung layo, at halos makita na almost half-body. Ganito. Para pag sumasayo ka, and ang lapit-lapit lang, kita-kita mo sarili mo. Kapag nag-camera ka, malapit lang camera, oh. Press mo lang reset, and you're good to go again. Ah. Meron din siya steady face feature dito. Sa taas, ayun, no? Para steady siya, based sa galaw na inyong mukha. Ayun, no? Ayos yun, ha? Oh, 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 Kamusta naman yung quality? Oh, grabe naman. Sobrang. Tapos zoom in, pwede? Oh, grabe naman to. Wow, panis. And even sa video, meron din siyang styles. What? Okay, so iba naman yung color. Ah, grabe. Very useful, styles. I forgot to mention, meron din siyang ultra-wide angle lens sa likod. So pwede kayo mag-zoom out, just like that. And pwede kayo mag-zoom in hanggang 10 times digital zoom. Meron din siyang night mode, no? And yes, still retain the styles at the night mode which is pinabago niya yung color yung temperature, yung tone depending sa mood or situation meron din siyang ultra wide sa night mode pati na rin sa selfie meron siyang night mode meron siyang dual video no? na pwede kang mag video both at the same time selfie and rear may double exposure which is ito yung tsura and by the way advanced na yung kanyang focusing no? meron po siyang eye auto focus so it can focus depending on the movement of your eyes so para mas makasabay yung inyong camera sa inyong galawan yung video niya sa likod no by default okay na okay na yung stabilization pwede ka mag add ng extra stabilization may standard siya crops in a bit but adds a significant level of stabilization plus kung kulang pa yan pwede ka mag ultra para mas pang gimbal ang galawan ayun at ito na pa yung presyo ng vivo v23 5g 12256 27,999 pesos. Kapag bumili kayo between February 5 to 19, Vivo is offering limited vouchers up to 1,000 pesos off and freebies. Dalawa po ang nirelease nila, si Vivo V23e, which is 19,999 pesos. Pero syempre, meron tong 500 pesos off voucher and free lavanda TWS earbuds. Si Vivo V23 5G naman, 27,999 pesos plus a 500 pesos off voucher and free 2-in-1 clock speaker during the said promo period. And take note, 12GB of RAM to plus 4GB pa extended RAM. So, bari mga 16GB of RAM siya. So, ayan po si Vivo V23 ay high-end smartphone from Vivo. Of course, hindi pa ito yung pinaka-high-end nila. Meron pa silang Vivo X series, which is meron silang Zeiss optics para sa mga smartphones na yan. Wala pong Zeiss branding dito, pero yung camera niya is sobrang, sobrang ganda na. And para sa akin, yung kanyang camera is one of a kind, not because of the quality, but pretty much yung kanyang features na nilagay niya dito. Sobrang dami kasi. Which is a game changer if you're a content creator, or kung mahilig ka nalaga mag-selfie, ang lakas ng dating ng mga selfies ng phone na to. 
could be the selfie king right now. There I say, mas maganda pa sa kahit anong flagship smartphone out there. At ayun na naman, if you wanna see more smartphone reviews, unboxing, and of course giveaways, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon, so that you don't miss any of my great content. I'm Lutzi Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo!